Now, you can stop the hydroxyl radical by finding a food that is rich in scavenging or binding it up or stopping those chain reactions to occur. But the smarter way would be to prevent it from even forming. And the way you do that is you find who is the mother, who produces this nasty thing. And that happens to be the superoxide free radical. And we call it the mother free radical in science. It's a nasty little mama producing the hydroxyl radical. Okay? Now, if we could stop it, that could have profound, health on you, uh, profound effect on human health for a huge range of conditions and diseases. So what we thought we would do is look at can it stop the superoxide free radical scavenging capacity. And by God, I had the same thing happen again. And I say thank you to God because you have to say thank you to God, by the way. It isn't just about science, okay? I got my results, and I knew at that time that an absolutely delicious, wonderful product, this wheatgrass juice that all of us love to drink, okay, had the highest superoxide-free radical scavenging capacity, about 140 to 200 SOD units. Okay, that's superoxide dismutase units. A little complicated, not important. When I got back the results from the laboratory, it was the same thing. Alex, are you sitting in your chair? The result was 1,614 units. It just blew everything out of the water. And suddenly I realized this is something huge because it could actually stop the production of excessive hydroxyl radical produ production. And that could have important implications, especially in inflammation. And it now, I just attended a, the Berry Health Conference of 2009, brought scientists from all over the world, from government agencies, all the people that are publishing all these papers. And there at that meeting was research that is showing now that inflammation is involved in probably every disease that afflicts human beings. So if we have a superoxide scavenging capacity that can reduce the inflammation, and once you reduce inflammation, the body can start healing itself, those natural processes which are within our body to fix us up and keep us healthy can be actualized and realized. Are you following? Okay. And lastly, at the University of California, Irvine School of Medicine, the professor of medicine there asked us, when I actually saw a poster that I had on acai research at the Federation of American Society's Experimental Biology meeting, he said, Alex, is there a chance I can get some of this stuff and study it in my laboratory? Because we're doing total antioxidant assay, capacity assays, and we are looking for things that have certain properties. I said, sure. I sent him some samples. And again, I got that same response. Alex, are you ready for this? The first time we've ever found any antioxidant that actually in a food acts slowly and acts fast. We've never seen that before. And be sure to put my name on the paper when you publish these results. Okay. That pattern. I love that pattern. Now, we did nutritional research. We want to understand its nutritional composition. Again, a surprise. Used different laboratories. We published all this work. It's got all the vitamins, all the minerals and trace elements that are important to human health, except it does not have a vitamin K or what we call methoquinone or phyloquinone. Phyloquinone is found in plants, methoquinone in other sources like wheats and eggs and fish. But no phyloquinone, which was important too because it explained why people who had problems with certain drugs where they have to watch out for clotting and watch out for blood thinning, that they were able to consume the acai. So this was a real surprise as well. Next, we look at amino acids because proteins are extremely important. We build our bodies all the time with proteins, every cell. Do you realize that in one minute, you lose 60 billion cells? 60 billion cells are lost per minute, okay? So you, we are, we, excuse me, 60 million cells are lost per minute, 60 billion per day. You would literally replace your body's weight in cells every single year. So we are constantly rebuilding our body. Do you understand the importance of that message? It means that if you're taking a product like Monavie and it has 
compounds which may be able to help you and arrest some of the free radicals and the free radical damage that those free radicals can cause, that it's conceivable you can literally rebuild your body in a year by constantly nourishing it nutritionally. And that's why I think... And, and that goes back to our 1995 paper that we looked at on that energy because people in the Amazon said, when I stop drinking it, I can feel the effect. I'm not up to par. When I'm back on my acai, I'm feeling stronger. But remember, they're getting the fresh juice. They can pick it in their backyard. <laughs> you know, We don't have that luxury. And it, it degrades so fast that if in 24 hours you had that pulp in a laboratory in Boston, it's mush, it's useless, we can't even study it. So we have got to do, and we had to develop that freeze-drying understanding right there in the Amazon. That's why nobody knew what acai was in any market in the world, because it's not in any supermarket. You can't put acai fruit in a supermarket. It would be mush. It would be molded by the time it would be there. And mold would get there so quickly. Why? Why would mold? Mold would come in there so quickly. Why? Because it knows this is full of nutrition, the good stuff. So it would grow so fast on it, it would never survive in any market as a fresh fruit. <laughs> so he looks at the challenges. Do you understand again why when people say, well, how come I can't buy it or I don't know about this product? Because only people in the Amazon can benefit from it. And after that, they have to understand the technology of preserving all of the characteristics and properties of the fruit and being able to put it into this bottle. And that's what Mona V has been able to do for you. Okay? I'm a great fan of blueberries. I grow them. In fact, I put more blueberry plants on my property my, and my home in Tacoma. And what I love about blueberries is I love them. They taste good. You know, they're rich in antioxidants. They got phytochemicals, flavonoids, and all that. But when you compare it on a gram-for-gram -gram basis for nutrient composition, there's no comparison to acai. Okay. Now, another thing, phytochemical composition. There are all kinds of chemicals in there. And what we have been doing right now, we've been isolating, characterizing these using extremely expensive technology, nuclear magnetic resonance, mass spec stuff. And what we're doing that for is we're trying to find out what are the compounds in acai that are responsible for all these health benefits. That research is going on right now. And that is very exciting as well. We have all of the other good things about acai. Again, there has not been a shoe that has dropped in the research to date. We know it's rich in fiber, both the soluble and insoluble fiber. To me, very important. I've studied fiber a lot. I've been doing fiber research for many years because the insoluble fraction of the fiber, okay, that's the stuff that passes right through you. You just doesn't really, really break up. But you hear it's good for you because it helps bulk the fecal material so that you can, you know, pass every single day and have a healthy digestive system, right? Um, the insoluble fiber is what captures and holds actually the polyphenols, those antioxidant compounds. And what other companies are doing, because they want to have you know, clear apple juice or clear cranberry juice or whatever, that's the way people like it. They know that if you put this product on a retail shelf, because of all the sediment, this fiber that it has in it, people won't buy it because it'd be a bunch of this stuff sitting in the bottom. And even worse, there's a bunch of oil on the top. Okay, Who would buy a bottle off a shelf like that? Nobody would ever get it. That's why when Dallin to told me, Alex, understand what, what the opportunity business is all about. It's a way for one person to explain things to another person that would never occur in a retail shop. Whatever you do, think about what you're doing. You've got some great research here on this incredible berry that nobody ever heard of. But we need to have a mechanism to get it out, that information to people. And network marketing is the perfect way to do that. Okay? So, you know, I understood suddenly where he was coming from, plus his commitment to science, yes, Mona V was the place to put it, and look what, what's happened. I mean, this is fantastic in four and a half years where this company is today. But you know, <laughs> do, you know what's, do you know what's the most important thing? You're helping a lot of people. That's the most important thing. <laughs>